Hey everyone, Kyle from Austin Custom Brass here with a rare treat for you guys. This is a Martin Committee Deluxe Model uh, number two bore trumpet in raw brass. Um, for those of you who don't know, the number two bore was the most common, uh, a medium bore, uh, and this one is unmarked. Um, usually they put it on the baluster right there, uh, and usually when they're unmarked, it is um, medium, and this one we measured, and it is indeed a medium bore. Um, this one has been fully restored. It was in unplayable condition uh, prior to the work that um, myself and uh, my friend did on this. Um, uh, the bell was like completely crushed, um, including all up in the here, uh, all around here. There was also a crack in the bell right around here. It's probably hard to see, um, but we silver soldered it shut because it was small enough that uh, we didn't need to make a patch for it, which was awesome. Um, but yeah, you can see on the pictures, you can see some evidence of a hammer rash that actually wasn't done by us, it was done prior. Um, this tuning side crook has been completely replaced with a, um, a, a production model, a reproduction, I should say. Um, but the water key assembly is all original. Everything else on the horn is original as well, um, including the, um, the third slide ring, which is very uh, a common part that gets lost um, on these horns. <laughs> um, the lead pipe has been re-rounded. Um, all of the, the crooks on the first and the third have been pulled off and re-rounded again, um, which were also full of solder from the factory. <laughs> uh, so we scraped all of that out and, and uh, it plays great. Um, it was actually kind of a gamble because, I, like I said, it was unplayable in the condition that it was in. It was full of holes and everything. Um, well, not holes, I guess just one hole. <laughs> so I couldn't measure the compression accurately, so I wasn't sure if the valve section was going to be good. Um, but they're great, and the compression is actually quite good for a horn of this age. Uh, this one's from uh, 47, I believe, and it's the deluxe model, meaning it has um, all the nickel trim on it and everything. So. Yeah, if you're looking for a horn with that classic uh, Martin sound, you know, Miles Davis, um, Dizzy Chet, all those people that use these horns, um, you get a nice warm, um, almost cornetti kind of tone when you see how uh, that bell flare works like that. Um, the slotting, of course, in most Martin committees is not the greatest, um, but that's why a lot of people like them. It's easy to move in and out of a of notes and partials and things like that, um, good for bending uh, and making really cool effects out of the horn. Um, it's not going to, I mean, most people aren't going to take it on like a lead trumpet gig or something, but it's great for a small group uh, and things of that nature. Um, so yeah, uh, the price reflects um, uh, the amount of work that we had to put into it. Obviously, it's not a, um, it's not a new instrument, so we can't sell it um, as new. Um, but yeah, amazing, amazing trumpet. Uh, let me turn my mic down again and play some more of this Martin. Yeah, got a nice, like, fluidity to it. Um, again, a lot of that uh, lack of slotting is due to, you know, there's no brace here. It's a reverse lead pipe. Um, the horn is quite narrow in the side-to-side -side wrap. All these things affect each other. Um, but it is a great player, and uh, it is fully restored um, back to uh, much of its former glory and uh, priced to sell here at ACB. Um, so if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to us. Um, yeah, be sure to subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and uh, we will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.